The real value of a forage or hay crop is the growing plants and the freshly harvested crop. But the real value is never realized until the hay or forage is converted into milk or beef or other farm products. Because that's where the payoff is. Of course, this payoff will depend somewhat upon the yield per acre. And more than ever, today's farmer is looking for big acre production. That's why more fertilizer is being used. More care in the selection of seed. More irrigation where practical. More application of insecticide and herbicides. And perhaps more prayers for good growing weather. But no matter how many tons of hay or forage per acre are finally standing in the field, the crop has to be properly cut and stored to realize its value. Yes, big acres are wonderful to gaze upon. But growing a good hay crop doesn't necessarily mean high quality forage. The method by which hay is harvested and stored determines how well the quality of the crop is preserved. The value of hay as a livestock feed depends to a large extent on prevention of as much leaf loss as possible, holding weather damage to a minimum, and cutting as early as practical for proper storage. Hay yield in terms of dry weight increases up to mid or late bloom, but maximum feeding value is reached by early bloom, about 10 days earlier than top yields. Beyond early bloom, digestibility of forage declines steadily. Livestock will eat less each day the cutting is delayed after early bloom is reached. In total, feeding value is reduced each day cutting is delayed beyond early bloom. But there is a time a very limited amount of time, and not lots of it, to harvest and store the crop at its prime, so that it will furnish fine, high-quality feed in the months to come. That's what Alice Chalmers' Big Acre Handling is for, to provide the equipment to do the job properly. When you're equipped for Big Acre Handling, that means you have equipment that's big in ability, big in capacity, big in reliability, and big in economy. If you want bale after bale of high quality hay in your storage areas, harvest when the crop is just right. You know that hay has to be baled at the right time and quickly. Alice Chalmers balers are ruggedly built to handle crops and large acreages year They have a full five feet of working width to handle big windrows and make it easier to stay on the windrow. With 48 coil spring teeth, they comb fields clean with a fast and gentle pickup action. And for more ability that contributes to capacity, twin feed rakes handle the crop gently but surely. They move the hay in a controlled flow to the bale chamber, delivering a full charge for every stroke of the ram. The bale chamber is jig formed with heavy channels that are welded for strength and rigidity. This means that the ram runs true. Bearings and shafts are held in alignment. The 302 and 303 are available in twine and wire twister models. In the twine model, the knotters tie the bales securely from tight throwing size up to big 80 pounders. And the twine box holds enough to tie a thousand average length bales. In the wire twister model, a simple proven mechanism produces a secure twist and leaves no short pieces of wire in the bales or on the field. Bales up to 110 pounds stay intact throughout extensive handling, hauling, and storing. So bring on those acres of hay. Alice Chalmers has the equipment to handle them. Of course, that hay didn't grow in windrows. 
But that's no problem when there's an Alice Chalmers mower to handle them. You can depend upon these mowers for faster, trouble-free mowing because of the twin-wheel drive, twin flywheels that balance each other as they revolve in opposite directions, balance the action of the sickle. Their counterweight action is always opposed to the action of the sickle. As a result, vibration practically disappears. There's less vibration than with a Pittman type. The sickle travels in a level plane, and the twin wheel system also permits faster cutting action. And the faster a sickle travels, the smoother and cleaner it cuts the heaviest of crops with ease. Rugged frames hold the cutter bar and twin wheel drive true for smoother mowing and longer life, typical of the reliability that is built into these mowers, which are available in models designed to fit any requirement. The 80 series mowers are designed to handle all hay crops. The rear mounted models such as the 80R Two are semi-mounted. The 80R3 with its three-point hitch. The trail type, the 82T, can be used behind any tractor equipped with drawbar, hydraulics, and power takeoff. There's also a side-mounted 82S. Any of these mowers can be used in combination with a hay conditioner when it is more practical to condition hay after it has been cut. And the Alice Chalmers conditioner does the job. It is built with the right principle and the right design for best hay quality. An upper roll of virgin rubber and a fluted steel lower roll give the right conditioning effect to break the wax seal on the hay stem, yet not scuff the leaves. And because of constant roll pressure, each stem is conditioned whether a thin or heavy stream of hay goes through the rolls. For more economy and efficiency in big acre handling, this mower conditioner takes a nine foot cut for one time operation of a two time job. Some farmers prefer to let their hay cure in the swath. And when it is just ready for raking, hay must be moved gently to the windrow quickly and efficiently. The Model 77 and 78 rake are built for this job. The basket is mounted on adjustable springs for flotation, which contributes to long tooth life. The reel drive is easily disengaged or engaged by a rope control, which is operated from the tractor's seat. A 13 position notched quadrant provides constant basket leveling to follow ground contours and rake cleanly. Just one crank to raise or lower the basket. It's quick and it's convenient. And with the tooth angle adjustable to seven positions, you can make just the right windrow and make it loose or tight as conditions demand. When you're raking with a 77 or 78, you can handle those big acres of light or heavy crops. Handle them with gentle leaf-saving action that will put more food value in the bale. And now, there's just one more step to storage. That's to get the bales into the storage area. And that's a job for the Alice Chalmers bale conveyor. It's lightweight, and yet it's strong because of square tubing design. There's just a single chain. So simple, yet so adaptable. And you can tailor make any type of installation. A T, an L, a portable type, or a straight in installation. The conveyor can be mounted on a transport carriage so that it can be moved easily around the farm any way you want it. You'll speed that task of storing bales and reduce the labor required. As is the case with hay, there's also a time for forage harvesting. 
The Ellis Chalmers 780 forage harvesters have the capacity and flexibility to handle any hay or forage crop. The 780 can be equipped for a direct cut and works equally well in all standing grasses, legumes, and sorghums. A pickup equipped 780 moves quickly through big acres of green forage, wilted or cured hay, its fingers combing clean as it picks up the crop for chopping. A two-row attachment for making corn silage will deliver up to 60 tons per hour and cut it just the way you want it. Some farmers prefer to use the one-row attachment, which is especially suited to harvesting narrow rows. But whatever the crop, whatever the attachment, the crop is carried quickly to the Alice Chalmers unique short flow feeding system that keeps it flowing uniformly through the harvester. On the base unit, five feed rolls move the material to the cylinder. No rattles, no belts or conveyors are used. When row crop attachment is used, there are six feed rolls. The first four rolls are fluted and they grasp and spread the material over the entire width of the cylinder. The replaceable shear bar is at six thousandths of an inch clearance, providing consistent uniformity of the desired length of cut, which can adjust from seven thirty seconds to two and one quarter inches. The cut and throw action of the case hardened knives cuts and delivers the chopped material to the wagon. When an obstruction such as a rock enters the feed rolls, they disengage automatically to protect the feeding and cutting systems from any damage. Reversing the feed rolls from the tractor seat allows the operator to remove the obstruction. Then, by re-engaging the feed roll clutch, he goes back to work with practically no time lost. A convenient knife sharpener mounts right on the machine. It can be used anywhere, anytime, quickly and easily keeping the knives razor sharp for fast cutting so that the 780 can maintain up to a 60 ton per hour capacity in handling big acres. Chopping, hauling and unloading must all dovetail into a cycle. Every link in the chain must be strong so that the job gets done on time. That's why the Alice Chalmers power feed box is so valuable in handling big acre crops. This box is not only big in capacity, but big in reliability. With laminated sills and cross braces for greater strength. The floor and sides of the box are secured with huck bolts to assure lasting tightness. There's a dual rattle for positive and uniform unloading. And a telescoping tongue is available, which adjusts in a jiffy for quick adaptability to your equipment. There's the ability and reliability you need to haul the heaviest loads without fear of breakdown. But there's even more convenience and versatility with these feed boxes. The power unloading operates while the box is standing or on the go. Front end unloading provides good visibility from the tractor. And a wide range of speeds are obtainable on the unloading conveyor to match the flow of material to the job. Power feed boxes with rear unloading are also available. And for complete versatility, Alice Chalmers makes a feed box with both front and rear unloading capacity. As the final step in handling big acre forage, Alice Chalmers blowers are capacity matched with the other forage handling equipment. Talk about capacity. This model 480 blower handles up to 60 tons per hour and handles it up and up and up clear to the top of this 110 foot silo. Now that's ability. With 780 forage harvester and feed box, this forage blower is the final step in big acre handling of forage crops. The nine inch fan housing matches the nine inch pipe that is standard for most blower systems. The fan paddles are form edge designed. They are
are mounted on twin steel angles. and are bolted securely together. To a steel hub. The shaft through this hub turns on two ball bearings for smooth running, maximum use of power and long life. The form design of the fan paddles help separate the material as it is picked up and blown, while a close tolerance, controlled cutoff, prevents material from following the fan around, so that wedging and fan wrapper heating are practically eliminated. A water inlet on the blower housing allows addition of water to prevent gumming when handling wilted hay. There's the model 480S with a short conveyor having a rattle chain to move the material surely and uniformly to the blower feeding auger. And there's also the 480H, which moves the material by gravity. The 480L has a long hopper with a driven conveyor belt that moves the material up to the chain and rattle. Acres of hay or forage crops. Now you know how to handle them. You do it with Alice Chalmers equipment which is matched for any hay or forage crop. Equipment that's big in ability, capacity, reliability, and economy. That's Alice Chalmers' big acre performance. Next year, next time, when it is the time to harvest hay, when it is that time to chop the haylage or silage, and when you want big acre handling, go Alice Chalmers.